So we'll take that as a positive sign from the U.S. market that's beginning, uh, well, to recover. And it also begins a broader conversation. We're calling it Examining the American Dream. The idea of the American Dream is that anyone in the United States or coming to the United States, no matter what their background, can succeed through hard work and innovation. But a new sociological study is challenging that long-standing belief. Andreas Arenas has more. This street in the heart of Washington, D.C., looked very different when Tony Lewis Jr. was growing up. You would pass drug deals, crap games, prostitutes. Tony says as a child, he had no adults to look up to who had regular jobs. His father began a drug-related life prison sentence when Tony was just nine years old. His mother was hospitalized for mental illness. In the impoverished communities where your value is kind of based on how tough, smart you are, um, and this is rampant and it's, it's normal. These are the norms and the culture in these communities. So um, it definitely uh, leads to, you know, those cycles being started and continued. Against the odds, Tony managed to break the cycle. He graduated from college and landed a city government job. But his friends weren't so lucky. Many of them who grew up on this street were jailed. According to a recent study, Sissy and his team tracked hundreds of first grade of their Four percent of children from disadvantaged families had a bac baccalaureate degree. When it came to the workplace, the study found that white men had a much easier time getting a job, even though they had the highest rates of drug and alcohol use and arrests and the lowest rates of college attendance. Many young people at all family income levels do these, you know, get in trouble one way or another. Uh, but most young people outgrow it, in fact. It's just, it's, it's a stage of life thing. Uh, for some young people, they don't outgrow it in the sense of consequences. And what we see, it's, it's quite clear, is that African Americans would suffer a much greater employment penalty uh, when they get in trouble in, in these various ways than do whites. This data contradicts claims often made by U.S. leaders, including President Obama, about equal opportunity. The idea that no matter who you are, what you look like, where you come from, how you were raised, who you love, if you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to live up to your responsibilities, you can make it here in America. I believe in the American dream. I think what's not factored in, though, is that uh, the pursuit of it is different for different folks. To fulfill the promise of the American dream, Many researchers and activists say more programs are needed to help young children in poor communities keep up in school with their more advantaged peers and more efforts to help everyone, including people with criminal records, find dignified employment. Andrea Arenas, CCTV, Washington.